Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lucy Goosey or Kyle and welcome to episode 3 of my Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke. We are here and if you did not see the first two episodes, make sure you go check them out because you're about to get everything spoiled for you. Um, but yeah, um, we're here with episode 3 and last episode we had a tough time. Um, we lost to Mei twice in our rival battle. Um, she had a Lanoon and we had our Andes, our... Um, our Bayleaf, and we also got a new Pokemon. Our first encounter was really tough to get it, but his name is Slime, so we'll check him out right here. So we have Andy's right here. We've got Slime the Wurmple. He's also Impish Nature, um, which is the same as our Andy's, and he's looking pretty cool. He's got the green and yellow color scheme. Um, if you guys didn't know, on this randomizer, I actually randomized the color schemes as well. So um, he is green and uh, yellow, which is kind of cool, and his name is Slime. So we got a Wurmple last episode. Which was pretty awesome. So, yes, we are now going to move on with this game. And we also have another encounter coming up on one of the routes, which should be pretty cool. So, we're going to be doing that as well. How do I exit out of here? I think I just hit B. There we go. All right. So, I'm going to see if we have any money on us to to, uh, to buy some more Pokeballs. Because Wurmple made us lose our, all of ours, which wasn't very nice of him. But, let's see. We do have some money. And we can buy five Pokeballs, but I do want to buy some potions as well. So let's be smart about this. I can buy three Pokeballs and one potion. Wow, what a great deal. So here we go. Just get the one potion, I guess. Um, and I don't really want to lose a Pokemon to poison. So I'm going to buy an antidote as well, just in case I get poisoned. Um, because that's not very fun to lose a Pokemon to poison. Um, so yes. No, there's nothing else. I want you to do so leave me alone I'm going away and now we're gonna head up into this route up here route 103 to get our next Pokemon hopefully it's that Nidoran uh, if you guys saw it in the last episode it's got an awesome color scheme that's the only reason why I want it so uh, let's see what we're gonna get uh, yes it's the Nidoran awesome okay I just love the color scheme on this thing and actually both of the Nidorans were on this uh, route which I think it's just I think they're the same Pokemon, I guess. Um, they just count uh, basically on their gender. So maybe we shouldn't just go... Uh, it's only level 2. I don't want to kill it. Oh, I accidentally closed the bag right there. Maybe we should just throw the Pokeball. Hopefully it catches on the first try. Let's see. Come on. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Come on. There we go. That's 3. There we go. Okay. So we got the Nidoran. That's our next Pokemon right here. What are we going to name it? This is the male Nidoran. Looking pretty cool. I love this color scheme. And so far, I think we have green. Yeah, we have green on all of them. This one, I like the color scheme of it. And it actually reminds me, if you guys have ever seen the movie Real Steel, of the robot Zeus in Real Steel. Now, I know he's nothing like the Greek god Zeus. He doesn't look much like it. But he looks like the robot from Real Steel. So, we're going to be naming him Zeus. Um... So there we go, we got our new encounter, and I don't think there's another route up there, I think that's all the same route. So that's pretty cool, and now we have three Pokemon on our team, and there's a couple of houses in here. You can see if anybody um, has anything important, if not, I'll just skip ahead in the video. Alright, so nothing interesting happening in those houses. We actually did get a, po uh, a potion from this person right here, um, they gave me a potion, which is kind of cool. But we're on another new route, so we could get another Pokemon. I don't know. There's a couple of trainers here that look like they might want to battle. So that's kind of scary. But let's see if we can get another new Pokemon here. Starting us off with an Iggly buff. And it doesn't look like the color scheme changed much. Maybe a bit bolder than usual. But Iggly buff is a weird encounter to get here. I don't really like the Pokemon. But kind of cool. We'll get him. And I think if we get him, if we can catch him in these two uh, Pokeballs, we'll name him Swirl. It looks like we're not going to get him on the first try. I to use charm what does that do lowers my attack well that's very nice because now i can use tackle and hopefully ensure that i'm not going to kill you yeah that's nice um our attack's going to fall again only have one pokeball here hmm all right we'll just keep going for the tackles to try to get this thing down a little bit more we'll go one more tackle and then we'll throw this last pokeball here he fell asleep so uh, i guess he wanted to sing a song. I don't really know. I'm not going to sing a song for you guys, though. That would not be very entertaining. Here we go. Let's see. Are we going to get this Iggly buff here? If we don't, then we have to run. Oh, man. 
All right, so we're not going to get the encounter on this route, which kind of stinks. Um, we are going to have to say goodbye to our chances of getting Iggly buff, but I guess we're just uh, not too lucky today. So I am going to heal up my Pokemon because my Andes did fall asleep right there, and uh, I do not want it to, um, you know, die because it's asleep. So we are now here on Route 2. I don't know if this person wants to battle. Uh, should I put a different Pokemon up front? Oh, that's the Pokedex. How do I leave this? Probably just B. Yep, there we go. Um, because they're both really low level, and I don't really want to lose one of them or lose um, my Bayleaf on a switch in. We'll talk to this guy up here. Right, he's not really saying anything. So this is going to be a battle, I'm assuming. Yes, it is a battle. If you have a Pokemon with you, then you're an official Pokemon trainer. You can't say no to my challenge. So here's going to be our first official battle besides a rival battle with May. And who is he going to have? He's, he's going to have a Tyranitar. Yay. Um, Might lose the, the, the Nuzlocke right here. Okay, it went for Screech. We're going to take some Sandstorm damage here. Can we get the kill? Okay. Whew. He had a Tyranitar. you got to be kidding me. Oh man, and we're gonna get a lot of XP from that fight. So Andy's is now sitting at a very comfortable level, um, which means that I think I could switch one of these in to the front slot right here. So I'm going to do, uh, I don't really care about Wormple. Um, we're just not really gonna use him too much. And if he dies, then Slime, I mean, we'll, we'll do our best, oops. We'll do our best to keep Slime alive and level him up a little bit because Dustox and Beautyfly are pretty cool, but I don't really care for them too much, so. Um, there's definitely a lot cooler Pokemon that we could have. I don't really want to go in this grass because we can see other Pokemon that we don't have a chance at getting anymore, which is kind of sad. But uh, if we do happen to go into the grass and see a cool Pokemon, we'd be very upset. Um, Pupitar, actually. So, the last guy in Tyranitar, this person is Pupitar. So, hopefully I can take any hit from this thing. Obviously, if we lose Andes, that is like the worst thing in the world. Oh, it's Screeched. Okay, so Screech lowers your defense. Which is not very fun because like one tackle might be able to knock me out. So okay, we are able to kill this Pupitar, and I think he had a second Pokemon on him. Okay, Zeus is gonna gain some levels up here. Oh, just one. Um, he has Magmar. Oh no. Fire typing. My whole team's not very good against fire typing, and I think this thing is gonna be like level level four. Okay. Zeus, you gotta do us one here. You gotta do a good one here. Oh, no, he's burnt. Uh-oh. Hey, Zeus, you're not going to be able to stay in. Oh, man, what do I do here? I think we have to switch in the Wurmple to sack it off. Yeah, it went for the Fire Punch, which probably would have killed... I'm sorry, Slime. We only had him for one episode. It would have probably killed Andes in two turns anyway, so we needed a free switch into Andes, but even now, I don't even know if we can kill this thing with Tackle. Uh... Okay, we might be able to get in another one. Can we live a Fire Punch? That's the question. Okay, we can live a Fire Punch. We probably could have um, actually saved Wurmple, but I'm sorry, Slime. You're already dead. Oh my gosh. Like, who expects someone to have a Magmar in Route 1? That's like the hard part about a randomizer um, right there. We are going to have to go back to the Pokemon Center, though, so that we can heal up the Pokemon that we have and also say goodbye to Slime, who was only with us for a short amount of time, so... Slime is our first death, and I was not expecting someone to have a Magmar on Route 1. That is definitely for sure. So, head into here, and we'll make this our death box. So, I will name it Death. There we go. And now we have a death box, which is kind of sad. We already have to put someone in here. Oops. Go up into our party Pokemon. Goodbye, Slime. You are now dead. That's kind of sad. All right. I was just talking about how, like, I didn't want him anymore. Like, how do I get out of here? There we go. Kind of talking about how I just didn't really want the guy anymore, or, like, I wasn't going to use him that much. But I do feel bad that I just let him go down like that. I mean, I don't know if I would have been able to take on that Magmar if I would have uh, did a kind of, like, a hard switch into my Bayleaf, because Bayleaf would have taken some damage, and if it was a crit, I couldn't really risk that. So... It would have been nice if we would have gotten an encounter on this route uh, that we could have actually caught somebody. Um, we actually did 
get some money from those trainer battles. So maybe I can go buy some Pokeballs. I'm going to go see, and then I'll cut back to you guys. All right, so we got another battle right here. Did you just become a trainer? We're both beginners. Oh, no. Just don't have a Magmar. That's all I got to say right here. Zeus is at the front, so we might lose Zeus if he has a... Okay, Wooper. I don't know what type of move Wooper has, but he does have Water type, which is super effective, I believe, against... Um, Again, Zeus right here, so we're gonna have to switch him out. Go into Andes and hopefully tank up like a water gun. Yep. Look at that. Making these reeds right here. Hopefully, yeah, I'm not gonna take anything from it. I don't know. I think Wooper's just pure water. He might have ground typing because Quag no, Quagsire doesn't have ground typing. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but we are gonna level up right here with Andes, which is kind of cool. And uh, now we're level 11. And let's see, he's gonna send in Agron. Oh man. Okay, wait, I'm already in battle. What did I do? Oh, let's see. Oh, I don't even know. So I think Razor Leaf is super effective against Agron, but I'm not sure. But uh, just give me one second, guys. Alrighty, guys, I'm back. I just realized that uh, my room was super dark, so I turned. Uh, I had my little brother turn the light on for me, so thank you, Zachary. Uh, but let's see. Is Oh, I missed. Okay. Don't have anything that's going to kill me. Okay not doing much damage it's only level three gonna have to worry about it yeah okay so we are gonna be able to kill this aggron andy's is gonna get some xp here and this guy's gonna give us some money i did not have enough money to buy a single pokeball i only had like a hundred something um orin berries i think this is so yep orin berries are definitely something we want i don't know what the other ones are but i don't think they're that useful but orin berries are basically a potion at this sense in the game or at this um part in the game so we are going to need those the new route I think it is. I don't really want to battle this trainer. Hmm. Oop, oop. Oh, look at the jukes. Um, and we are in Petalburg, and this is where our dad is at. And it's actually where the fifth gym is at. So we're going to heal up our Pokemon right here. All two of them that we have, because we missed an encounter, and our poor little guy died. And I think now I'm ready to take this thing on. We do have our boy Zeus up front, and hopefully he can live a hit let's see i'm going to keep winning and aim to be the best trainer help me further all right let's see just don't have a magmar and i'll be okay with or an ice type that would not be preferred either hmm um as long as it's not like super offensive i think andy's can live like three hits from this thing okay yeah not it probably doesn't have an ice type move considering it's only at level four Hunt, that just makes me have to go for attacking move not a big deal we'll take down the sneasel Zeus is going to gain another level andy's is about to gain a level spinner act not a big deal it is bug type which is super effective against grass but i think we'll be fine i could have actually switched in the zeus and pecked this thing um might be the smarter thing to do i just don't want to take a hit from it uh, we'll just go for tackle though and see yep that's gonna kill so i don't know andy's is getting a lot of critical hits here so definitely a cool pokemon to be on the team and getting a lot of crits and i should be able to buy some stuff from this pokemart now that i bought a couple more trainers so we'll see if we have enough money to buy anything uh just one pokeball this is going to be our only pokeball that we have this is kind of hard to get money at the start of the game. <laughs> um, I think that the reason why it's like harder to catch these Pokemon is because they still have their capture rate that they would have if they were like a level 25 or something like that. So it's definitely harder to catch these Pokemon. But uh, I'm not too sure where I'm supposed to go. This guy's going to talk to me. Hi, are you maybe a rookie trainer? Do you know what Pokemon trainers do when they reach a new town? They first check what kind of gym is in the town. See, this is Petalburg Gym. This gym sign, look for it with, or this is the gym sign, look for it whenever you're looking for a gym. So I believe this is a fighting type gym. Um, but yes, that is where our dad works. He's the gym leader there. Spoilers, but um, let's see, what do I want to do? Oh, he's just going to keep talking to me. So maybe I should go in here and see, is my dad here? I'm not too sure what I'm supposed to do, but yep, there's my dad. Well, if it isn't Kyle. So you're all finished moving in. I'm surprised that you managed that you, uh, to get here by yourself. Oh, I see. You're with your Pokemon. Hmm. And I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, Kyle. That's great. I'll be looking forward to it. And this is uh, Wally right here. Um, uh, 
I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm. You're, oh, uh, Wally, right? I'm going to stay with my relatives in Vernon Turf Town. I thought I'd be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along. But I've never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. Hmm, I see. Oh, you heard that, right? Go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. Wally here, I'll loan you a Pokemon. So he gets a Nidoran, which I think usually he gets a Zigzagoon in the game. But maybe Nidoran is the replacement for Zigzagoon in this game. Which is weird, thinking that our Nidoran is actually a Zigzagoon. But he usually goes out and catches a Ralts. So we'll see what he catches on this route. It might be the Iggly buff that we tried to catch before. But um, let's see what Wally's going to get right here. Could be something cool. And he's actually going to get a Cubone. Kind of reminds me of Alolan Marowak in the Sun and Moon games. But uh, he's going to get a Cubone here, which I kind of wish we had a Cubone. And uh, there's his Nidoran. We actually have the opposite Nidoran, the other gender of that. That's kind of cool. Um... Uh... He's going to go for tackle right here, I guess. And I could speed this up with the emulator. I'm trying to see how long I've been recording for. I don't know where to see that at. Hmm. Oh, I see it. Never mind. You're good. Um, but let's see. I don't think I'm doing this battle, am I? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's Wally. Yeah. Okay. So Wally's going to go throw the Pokeball right here. And I'm pretty sure it's automatic catch um, in this situation. So there we go. I wish I had that luck. Sorry about that. I don't know if you guys saw Sticky Keys notification just show up on my screen, but it did. So, did it work out? Thank you. Yes, it did. Oh, wait. I gotta do his voice. Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokemon back. I don't thank you for coming along with me. You two are, the, are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, Kyle. See you later, Wally. Now, Kyle, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rustboro City beyond this town. There, you should challenge Gym Leader Roxanne. After her, go on to other Pokemon Gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them, understood? Of course, I'm a Gym Leader too. We'll battle one day, Kyle. But that's only after you become stronger. Alright, see you later, Dad. I wish you would've given me like a thousand dollars. Um, but... There are some houses in here we could check out. I kind of feel like they're not gonna have anything. Nope, this person's gonna talk to us. I don't even know who this is. Excuse me. Let me guess, from the way you're dressed, are you a Pokemon trainer? Well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. You're either a rookie trainer or maybe you're just an ordinary kid. I'm roaming the land in search of talented trainers. I'm sorry to have taken your time. Okay, um, so I'd actually never played Emerald before, but I do know it has a couple of side quests and stuff like that. So that could have been like a side quest type of character right there. We do get another encounter right here. We'll see what we're gonna get. Hopefully it's something good that we can actually catch. And it's a Ariados. We just saw Spinarak a little bit ago, and now we have an Ariados encounter, and actually the color scheme isn't too far off what Ariados actually looks like. I don't think Peck is going to kill here, so we'll go for the Peck. It is super effective, but yeah, okay, it's not going to kill. And we, that means that, what, our speed fell? Yep. So, we'll go for one more Peck right here, and then we're going to have to throw the Pokeball. We only have one. So hopefully we can get lucky. Ariados probably has a high or a low um, capture rate. So we'll see if we can get it. One. Nope. Oh my goodness, man. This is going to be really difficult to catch Pokemon. Especially um, since we don't have the money to buy the Pokeballs. Because we'd definitely be able to get that if we had the money. But we're just sitting at very low amount of money. And we don't have any more Pokeballs. So that kind of stinks. We're not going to get another encounter. And we're definitely wasting um, some routes right here. So maybe I should have waited to catch a Pokemon on this route. Um, just so I could get some money to buy Pokeballs. But I guess that is just a mistake on my part. I was really hoping to get that right there. Um, that guy probably wants to battle. Yep. Um, so he's going to battle us right here. We'll see what he has. Hopefully nothing too strong. Youngster Billy wants to battle. He has a Larvitar. What is it with people having Tyranitar, Larvitar, and Pupitar? I guess it's like the replacements for certain Pokemon in this game, so that's what that is, I guess. Um, but we'll send out Andy's right here to take whatever hit he wants to hit me with, and we'll just Razor Leaf away, and hopefully he doesn't have anything too strong after this thing. Um, but there we go, Zeus is going to gain another level, which is nice. And he has Electabuzz, which is kind of a weird encounter. Oh, that is so cool, he's blue! Man. If I could have encountered an Electabuzz, I would have been so happy. 
but we should be fine just battling this thing. Hopefully the Thunder Punch doesn't do too much. Yep, okay, not very effective. And this tackle should... Oh, I, I missed. Dang it. Don't get paralyzed. Don't get paralyzed. There we go. All right, we'll just go for the Razor Leaf. And we hit it. So there we go. We get the kill. Almost level up our Andes one more time. And we got some money. So it's still not enough for another Pokeball, but it is money nonetheless. The sea, why? Huh, I wonder what it's like at the bottom of the sea. Hmm, I wonder too. I fished uh, up a tough looking Pokemon. Uh, it has a smile of quality to it. It sure looks rough. Oh, yes, it does. And now he's going to battle me. Okay, I guess it's just a sand animation. Whoa, dude, how do you fish up Slackoth? I don't even know how that that's possible. Um, Slackoth does have... He might have fighting type moves. I don't know. I don't really want to switch in here. And I'm, I'm sitting on kind of low health, too. What level was this thing? I think it was level 9. Yeah. Keep Zeus in here. Yeah, Zeus isn't going to do too much, is he? Alright, we're going to have to go into Andy. He's sitting at a little bit of lower health. He does have that loafing around that just happened, um, which means that he can't attack me on that turn, which is kind of funny. Um, he is going to go for the yawn here, so we are going to have to pick up the kill on this turn. And we are able to. So, there we go. Zeus is going to gain another level to level 8, and he should be evolving soon, actually, because um, Nidoran actually evolves really quickly um, in the games. I think at, like, level 16 or something like that. So... That's kind of cool. And Bayleaf is going to evolve not for a while because it is the second evolution. There we go. We're going to get some money and that might be enough to buy some more Pokeballs. So I'm sorry that we didn't get the encounters um, that we could have gotten in this episode and also that we lost Slime. But that is actually going to do it for this episode. Kind of a sad one. We lose Slime and we missed two encounters. So Igglybuff and Ariados we did not get. So you might as well count them as deaths as well. Hope you guys did all enjoy this episode nonetheless, and hopefully you're excited for episode 4. I'll talk to you later, guys. Have a nice day. Peace.